workshop is a lesson which expresses how honest and correct ways can win over any situation. With these ways, even robbers can be tackled rightly. The protagonist, the central character, Mr. Ray, not only protected himself but shot the right part to the robbers as well. It conveys a message of peace and goodwill for all. In the previous class, I have told you that this incident happened during the time of Christmas. It was a Christmas evening and it was the time to close shops at Salt Lake City in USA. But lights in Ray's shop were on because he was repairing a clock that he had sold. Ray, the owner of a shop, was old and deaf and he is having a clock shop. After finishing his work, when Ray got up a cold wave of air, touched his neck from the front door, he was able to see a shopper, a last minute shopper who came to his shop for buying something. But as a wise and experienced person, Ray noticed that they were not shoppers. He saw two men, one was young and the other was a middle aged man. The younger man stopped at the door and the middle-aged middle came to the counter. His eyes were reflecting the cruelty of his heart. But somehow Ray wisely hid his fear and slowly pushed a notepad and a pencil towards him. And the information the notepad brought a change on the man's face. He smiled and then with his gestures Pointing to his ears and shaking his head from side to side, another man told that the man, that is the shopkeeper or Ray, was deaf. And this gave Ray some time to look and examine the man closely. He observed the shape of the gun and his hand movement in his cord's right pocket. Ray was feeling angry inside, but his wisdom asked him to be cool down and be still. He asked the man writing on notepad if he could help him. With this, the man looked straight at Ray and smiled. It was a cruel smile, as if making fun of something. They understood the reason for being at the shop and one of the men standing outside at the door. And Ray was looking at them as unlucky people who were trying something for which they would repent later. Now let's see what happened later on. The clock ticked on. Ray calmly wrote another message. Have you come to pick up a clock or watch? Then he pointed to the lawn board filled with hanging clocks and pocket watches. He was not a pawnbroker, but at the same time couldn't say no to the needy people who place their old watches or clocks before him for anything they would get. He learned more than he should. They would be there when the owners wanted them back, at the same price he had paid with no interest. Ray knew at heart that these visitors, the, shop, the shoppers, were in need of money. And Ray quietly asked, writing a message, if they had come to take a clock or watch. And understanding their need, Ray also pointed to the lawn board filled with hanging clocks and pocket watches to tell them that he gave money as lawn in exchange for people's old watches and clocks. He was not a man who gave money to people to take some security in return or earn interest. Rather, Ray did all that to help needy people. It was because of his helping and kind nature. Then the older man seemed to feel a little easier, took out his hand from his pocket and quickly looked at the watch on his wrist. How much will you give me for this? The man wrote. Ray noticed a little shame in the grey eyes looking at him. The watch was nothing special and yet had great powers. It was something to exchange, a way out of a bad situation. Knowing that great need had brought the man to this shop in the first place, Ray asked, how much do you need for it? The reply came back on the notepad, whatever it's worth. So, this made the older man feel easier. He looked at his watch on his wrist and asked Ray 
what price he would offer for that. And Ray felt that the man was a little ashamed because the watch was not of a great worth but it was special because with this Ray could turn around a bad situation and come out it come out of it safely. Understanding that man's need and helplessness because of which he was into such a bad act, Ray asked him what was his need. And the man replied to Ray writing on the notepad that he should pay whatever was the worth of the watch. Ray reached into his cash box, pulled out a $50 knot and passed it into the man's hand. As they shook hands, Ray looked into the man's eyes. They seemed to say, thank you. They both knew the watch wasn't worth that much. Before turning to leave, the man wrote, I'll be back to pick it up as soon as I can. Merry Christmas. See, now Ray went to his cash box and took out a $50 knot and he handed it to the man. It made him happy and the man expresses gratitude. Both of them knew that the watch was not of that high price. And before leaving, the man said that he would come back to take his watch as soon as possible and wished Mr. Ray Merry Christmas. The little story ended on the half hour with the clock striking all together. The timepieces which had been looking on silently all the while rang out the time with such feeling that even Ray thought that he could hear them. Their sweet musical message was filled with hope. The timeless message of peace on earth, goodwill towards all was felt by the three men who stood in the clo old clock shop. This small story ended on the half an hour with the clocks. They all striked that particular time together witnessing the whole incident. And their musical striking bells produced a music which spread a message of hope and peace. The music was so sweet and impactful that it seemed as if even deaf ears of Ray were able to feel it. The sweet and hope filled message of goodwill towards others and peace on earth was felt by everyone. The message of peace and goodwill spreads everywhere as the old clock rings Merry Christmas. This is the small and crisp lesson giving us a very good theme, very good message that we should be good towards everyone. And if we are good, we will be able to tackle anything and everything. Thank you for watching.